This spokesperson claimed the activist increased the risk of spreading bird flu. Ah, uh, okay. So you creating these massive factory farms full of birds is not increasing the risk of bird flu. But activists walking in there, two or three activists walking in there with a camera is increasing the risk of spreading bird flu. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now I'm just feeling pretty sick after I've just seen this article in The Independent. Now everyone knows by now, if you haven't seen the video of me and Tinsel, we rescued Tinsel from a free range farm. She was, her fate was to be slaughtered for someone's Christmas dinner. And I've really connected with turkeys and I always have loved turkeys. I knew they were a lot more cuddly than other birds. They're a lot more social than say chickens, but I still, you know, care for chickens a lot. It's just turkey, something about them I felt was kind of special as well. Like recently there has been this article in The Independent and what has happened is Viva, a vegan campaigning organization who uh, exposed recently the Flat House Farm to, I uh, did a video on that. And they've recently got some of their investigations published in The Independent, which we're gonna, we're gonna read through here. But yeah, with, with the Christmas season coming up, a lot of turkeys are being bred into existence here in the UK specifically for Christmas. So, you know, with Christmas time comes a lot more turkey exploitation and of course, animal rights investigators exposing these places for the hell holes they really are. So turkeys kicked hundreds of times and left wounded at farms supplying Sainsbury's and Asda. Wow. So it says undercover activists at a farm supplying Sainsbury's and Asda have said they saw workers kicking turkeys more than 200 times in shocking scenes of suffering and cruelty. A worker is to be suspended and an official investigation has been launched after footage showed what campaigners called a total disregard for animal welfare. Birds at the Red Tractor endorsed intensive farm were also suffering painful open wounds and acute pecking injuries, video from the investigation shows. So right now we're focusing on turkeys because a lot of turkeys are killed this time of the year in the UK. But there's many other species of animals who are tortured and killed around this time of year as well and all other times of the year too. But let's just watch this. Investigation footage from Viva. So these are three different farms here and they supply some of the biggest names in the supermarket. So Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, Morrison's, what do we got here? Waitrose and Ocado. Like these are some of the biggest supermarkets in the UK. So let's just, you know, Let's just have a look here, like the UK is like they pride themselves, high animal welfare, the highest animal welfare in the world. I've heard it so many times. The UK actually has some of the highest animal welfare standards in the world. That is nonsense. You there's been so many exposes. There's been so many exposes. Let's actually look at what a red tractor factory farm looks like. Like, look how many of them there are in there. Like, they're just jammed in there. What are they supposed to do jammed in these sheds like that? They can't even spread their wings in there. Okay, so the next scene, investigators filmed workers kicking the turkeys as they emptied the sheds for slaughter. Let's have some look here. Look at this. Hmm. Just booting the birds like objects. How sickening. Look at him. Look at this guy. Just callous disregard for these turkeys. They don't care about them. They just... Whatever, get in the truck, go get your head chopped off. So what you see is these turkeys here fighting. They just, they just go mad in here. You gotta understand, they're going mad. They're going crazy trapped in this factory farm. And like, like cause there's so many of them, they just, they just can't recognize each other in these huge farms filled with different birds. There's too many of them. So they just, they just go mad. They're pecking each other. It's just disgusting. Poo all over the floor. Ah. Oh. So they're just pecking each other like to death. Like, look at this one here. This is horrible, this scene here. Leaving birds with painful lacerations, their skin plucked raw and the wounds left to, left to fester. Like, and you gotta understand when you get a wound and there's just feces everywhere, the wound's gonna be infected. Look at this poor baby left to suffer and die. On a red tractor approved farm? Like, come on. Does that look like Christmas to you? Look at that. Does that look like Christmas to you? Imagine paying for a bird to go through that just so you can have a Christmas dinner. Like, what an insane, cruel thing to do. Like, look, I know a lot of people don't actually know this happens, like this stuff happens, Like, and, and amazing orgs like Viva have to expose places like this. You know, now that you do know, what are you gonna do about it? Like, that's what I wanna know, like, cause down below we have like a, a Christmas download pack where you can have a vegan Christmas easily. Like, you know, it's just, it's just horrible. Like, I think in the back of everyone's minds, people know that most of the meat that they eat comes from factory farms, I mean, but you know, 
Places like Red Tractor and that do do a pretty good job at perpetuating propaganda to the masses, but you know, this kind of dispels these myths, doesn't it? Oh, poor baby. Like all I can think of is Tinsel when I see these poor babies. Like Tinsel is the most amazing bird and I connected with her on such a deep level once you spend like multiple days in a row living with a, a turkey, you just really see how you know intelligent and intricate they are and their little different uh, vocalizations. But these birds here, this is horrible what they're putting it, the suffering they're putting them through is just, it's just, I, I couldn't imagine it. Oh my God, this bird has a bone fracture that is protruding through their skin. Injured birds are brutally shot in the head. Their lifeless bodies are dumped like trash. So they're, they're actually bred double the size now. So look at them, they're too, it's just, they're too big for their, their legs to hold. It's just horrible. Well, that's absolutely horrible. I'm going to continue reading the article to see what else they found. But um, as you can see, like just from those images there, that, that's absolutely horrible, like what they've uncovered there. So animal welfare charity Viva carried out a secret probe from late last month until earlier this year at three farms. The group said its investigators found that all three severely overcrowded sheds, creating stress, aggression, and pecking of others. Birds suffering with acute injuries from being pecked, high levels of ammonia on the ground, causing agonizing hock burns and breathing and walking problems. Investigators said the footage showed birds being kicked more than 218 times while being herded. Wow. A virus is online that it looks after the health and welfare and safety of its staff its consumers and the animals. Yeah, he might, I don't know, he might look after your staff and consumers, but not the animals. I don't know about the consumers either because these places are breeding grounds for diseases. So you don't really care about the consumers or the staff or the animals if you think about it. The animal welfare group said its hidden cameras revealed birds in barren windowless sheds subjected for more than three months to continuous artificial lighting with no darkness. No darkness, imagine that. Imagine how crazy you'd go if you couldn't sleep properly. So cameras filmed for three days straight and the only time the lights were turned off was during the catching process to keep them calm during stressful loading. A Viva spokesperson said, wow. So they only turned the lights off to, to, to load them. That's just, that's horrible. That's just horrible. So they also claimed a worker made just one welfare check a day in breach of Red Tractor's rules, which state inspections should be carried out at least twice daily. Well, you know what, they breached the rules, but even if they were doing inspections twice daily, it's still horrible. And I think, you know, Viva know that. We, I think Viva just want people to go vegan and stop the animal exploitation. When you're mass breeding animals for consumption, there's always gonna be welfare problems. So you can't just mass breed thousands and thousands of turkeys and expect them to get the proper care. You just, it's just not gonna happen. They have to cut their beaks off. You know, they have to destroy defective uh, chicks. They have to destroy birds who have been injured, so they're bolt gunning birds in the head. They're, they're making them grow double the size so they can't you know, support their own weight. And at the end of the day, even if the welfare was spot on amazing, it's like a bird sanctuary where they're all getting appropriate care, taking them to the slaughterhouse is the injustice. I mean, it's horrible exploitation. Just how much more cruel can you get than cutting an animal's head off? It's obviously wrong if you're cutting an animal's head off and eating their body. I mean, that, that should be a breach of welfare in itself. So it says these conditions are in contradiction to Avara Foods animal welfare policy, which claims our birds would rather peck at the drinkers, feeders, or other pecking ob objects than each other. Oh, well, that's nonsense, because they're pecking the hell out of each other in these sheds. See, like, who are you gonna listen to? You gotta listen to the people who are campaigning for animals, who have the animal's best interests in heart, or are you going to listen to the person who's trying to sell you a product, a company who is making money off the backs of animals and is trying to sell you their chopped up body parts and tell you what you want to hear? I want to hear that you know the animals were treated nicely and you know in these amazing red tractor conditions before I ate their body, so I feel good about myself. No, this is a reality, okay? And even if that were true, it's still wrong to cut off turkeys' heads to eat them. Like, look at Tinsel. Would you want to cut off her head and eat her? I mean, come on. So, and here we go, here's Sainsbury's. The Sainsbury spokesman says, we care deeply about the welfare of our animals and have been working closely with our suppliers and Red Tractor to urgently investigate this footage. Well, you know what, Sainsbury's, maybe drop all animal exploitation industries and just sell plant products. I think that would be best for you because these things are gonna keep coming up. As long as there is um, animal exploitation, there's gonna be these horrific animal welfare breaches and you know footage coming out exposing you. So what you should do is just drop all 
places that involve animal exploitation. But you won't do that because you'd probably go out of business. But sooner or later, meat's going to come obsolete. It's a very dangerous way of producing food, uh, growing animals for food. And as per, as the spokesperson said, none of Asda's own label Christmas turkeys have been sourced from these farms. We do stock a small number of lines from branded suppliers who source us from one of the farms, and we'll be picking up on them with them as we expect all suppliers to uphold comprehensive animal welfare standards. So Asda, you're going to show us uh, footage from slaughterhouses and farms where you do source your turkey from? Probably not, will you? You're going to show us the pig farms, the chicken farms, the egg farms? Yeah, absolutely not. Okay, so stop talking nonsense okay you don't follow these animals down the line and to the slaughterhouse and you don't even show the public uh, all of that information you know you keep that secret you try very hard to keep that secret morrison said it had not taken any turkeys from the farms oh you on oh, morrison's uh, so you, you hadn't okay morrison's but where do you, you where do you get your turkey from show us the slaughterhouse show us you know, those farms, you know, but you won't, will you? Tesco said the Avara farms were in its supply chain but had not sourced them for Christmas. Oh, really, Tesco? Okay, so where did you source all your turkeys from for Christmas? I'm sure they could be comprehensively exposed as well. Like, this is just, you know, trying to brush off the, any accountability or responsibility. Look, all of these companies, they need to keep pushing the vegan stuff and phase out all the animal products that's what they need to do oh this is just got stuff like this is just going to keep popping up a red tractor spokesperson said protecting animal health and welfare is one of our top priorities and we take any allegations of our of breaches to our standards very seriously i oh, do you red tractor trying to save face that's probably about it look i don't have any confidence in these animal welfare organizations who sell meat who who put their stamp of approval on a chopped up animal's body they don't have the animal's best interest at heart they're just money making machines trying to keep the status quo, trying to keep animal exploitation in business. As soon as we were made aware of the footage, we launched an immediate investigation to substantiate the claims and to review the behavior seen. Well, why does Viva have to expose this, uh, Red Tractor? Why aren't you exposing this, you know? Uh, I think we all know why, because you're making money off the backs of animals as well. An Avara spokesman said edited footage of this nature was captured to support the claims of the group promoting it, and as such, we'll always focus on a few isolated examples in an otherwise healthy flock. Oh, wow, really, Avara? Really, Avara? Oh, now, uh, so now, like, you're saying that the group has somehow doctored the footage in favor of their message, but, you know, Avara, like, should we listen to you, who is trying to sell the chopped up bodies of the animals, who obviously doesn't care about the animals, do you? Otherwise, you wouldn't be having massive factory farms full of them, with, which are breeding grounds for disease and welfare breaches, and then sending them all to the slaughterhouse to be cut up into pieces. Hey, Avara, um, so we should listen to you? Should the public listen to you, who, who, who are making bulk cash of animal cruelty, suffering, exploitation, and murder? No, I don't think they should. I think they should listen to the, the, the people who are campaigning for the rights of animals, for animals to be free. They added, ordinarily, any welfare concerns are identified quickly and resolved. Health records support this, and Red Tractor audits are evidence both farms are well run overall. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, so who's the Red Tractor auditor? Uh, you know, you're all good buddy buddy pals. Isn't Red Tractor like run by, you know, farmers and, and things like this? I mean, you know, what, should we trust Red Tractor audits? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In our review of the video relating to our farms, we note the vast majority of birds typically shown only in the background are healthy, clean and mobile. Oh, really? Okay. Healthy, healthy, clean and mobile. We'll trust you then, mate. We'll trust you. Are they healthy, clean and mobile when they're getting their head axed off in the slaughterhouse? I don't think so. Based on the evidence we've seen, the behavior of one of the third party catching team has no place in our business and we understand that once identified, the team member will be suspended pending a thorough investigation. That person will be barred from working at any of our operator farm in the future. Okay, so you just, you know, you're just trying to save face here. Like, now you probably walk in and seen this, you probably wouldn't have said, said anything. It's now because it's been made public knowledge that you, you want to get rid of this guy. But you know, you probably just hire someone else who kicks birds. The spokesperson claimed that activists increased the risk of spreading bird flu and alarmed the birds when they entered the sheds. Oh, hey, okay, here we go. This part here is absolutely nonsense. This spokesperson claimed the activist increased the risk of spreading bird flu. Ah, uh, okay. So you creating these massive factory farms full of birds is not increasing the risk of bird flu. But activists walking in there, two or three activists walking in there with a camera, is increasing the risk of spreading bird flu. Not the fact that you've got all these farmers and bird catchers working in there, uh, you've got more employees working there than three or four activists who went in with cameras. So creating factory farms filled with birds doesn't increase the risk of spreading bird flu, actually it creates it, but a few activists does. I mean, great logic there, mate, great logic. Great spokesperson you are. 
Okay, and they alarm the birds when they enter the sheds. Oh, well, so they're not alarmed when they get their welfare checks uh, once a day, or they're not alarmed when uh, a farmer's grabbing them by the head and bolt gunning them in the skull and chucking them in the dead pile if they've got an injury, a pecking injury. They're not alarmed then, are they? They're not alarmed when they're getting scooped up and chucked into a cage and taken to the slaughterhouse to be electrically bathed and throats slashed open. They're not, not alarmed then, or they, or they go into a gas chamber. They're not alarmed when they're getting carted into the gas chamber and start feeling the CO2 hit. They're not alarmed then. Like, okay, like, okay, they're just alarmed when activists go in there with cameras. Hey, okay, yeah, great one, spokesperson, nice one there. A green label representative said an internal investigation was conducted in the footage and a red tractor inspection found no problems. Oh, of course, red tractor finds no problems because red tractors run by farmers and all that. But, you know, Viva find problems because Viva cares about the interests of the animal, don't they? Okay, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Red tractor, no problem. Avara, no problem here. Um, but, you know, Viva, there are problems because they actually got cameras and evidence. Okay. The birds are not overweight and have no issues accessing water and feed. Well, technically they are double the size than they usually would be, so okay. The Viva report shows a bird with a fresh pecking wound. Our flock records show that affected bird was humanely culled the morning after the footage was taken. Oh, great. So <laughs> Viva showed that a bird has an injury from a pecking wound and it's fine because the bird was shot in the skull and thrown in a dead pile. So, oh, thanks. That's great. Great, great work, you know? What, is, what are you on about? What are you on about? So the way you treated this pecking wound, instead of giving the bird vet care, maybe let him go to a sanctuary, give him vet care, you just shot him in the head. You're proving our point for us. Like, I don't even know why, you, why you'd even say that. Like, you know, you're just making our position stronger. Leave the turkeys alone. <sighs> Additional environmental enrichment was also provided to prevent further incidents. What was that? Like sprinkle a bit of hay over the feces on the ground? The welfare of our birds is an absolute priority. We work to the highest standards in hygiene, biosecurity, and animal welfare. Well, biosecurity, you're creating factory farms filled with birds, confined, and you're increasing the risk of pandemics and disease, you know? So how the hell is the welfare of the birds your priority when you're jamming 4,000 into a shed, 10,000 in a shed? It's just, since when is animal welfare your priority when you're sending them to the slaughterhouse to be gas chambered? Don't, don't give me that nonsense. Your priority is making money off selling their flesh. A British retail consortium spokesperson said members took their responsibilities to animal welfare very seriously and work closely with trusted suppliers on high welfare standards, adding they have strict processes and will thoroughly investigate any evidence of non-conformity to ensure any problems are immediately addressed. Nonsense. What you'll do is when the footage is produced, you'll say, oh, no, they edited that wrong. Oh, they only focused on these birds, not those birds. Oh, we take animal welfare really seriously. We, we fired one person for kicking birds. Uh, we, you know, the activists, they're spreading bird flu. Like, you just make up excuses and deflect and t try to take away accountability. Tesco's and Sainsbury, oh no, we don't, we don't get it from them. We get it from some other horrible place. Like, it's just all a bunch of nonsense. What, what, what happens is, you know, organizations like Viva, they put you on your back foot and you just make up a bunch of excuses. That's all I see. Um, but how many investigations do you have to see before you stop paying for it? You oh no, no, red tractor this, humane slaughter this and that. Oh, I swear we're in England, it's all fine. No, England, Predominantly factory farms their birds, okay? Over 90% of the, the turkeys and 95% of the chickens and, you know, all these ducks in factory farms and pigs, so over 90% of the pigs are all in factory farms, you know? England is rife with factory farms. So how many investigations do you have to see before you boycott these places and go vegan? It's Christmas time. There are plenty of great alternatives. We'll leave the Christmas pack down below. Thank you to all these amazing investigators who do this work without any credit and they re remain anonymous and they do very great work on the front lines. And thank you to organizations like Viva who present this footage and show it to the media and hold these places accountable because, you know, this has got to end what's happening to these birds. Christmas time is supposed to be the spirit of giving and compassion and, you know, all of these amazing, beautiful things that people do for traditions. But there's just this underlying cruel aspect of it where people take animals and sacrifice them and sit around the table with their family and, you know, say grace around this bird that has been killed and raised in a factory farm suffering. It's just completely opposed to what spirit of Christmas is supposed to be. So I think myself, I need to go into one of these places and see what it's like in there myself. I need to go in there and see what goes on in there and see these birds and see what type of conditions they're actually living in, in a red tractor approved turkey farm. So we'll see what happens there, but please don't eat birds like Tinsel the turkey. I mean, these birds are all inherently amazing creatures. They shouldn't be treated like this. They're raised in horrible conditions. They're growing double the size. 
they're subject to egregious cruelties just so you can have a 30 minute meal and it's completely unjustifiable. So again, have a happy Christmas, a happy vegan Christmas. I'll leave links down below to my Christmas download pack that you can take and you can give you a good guide on what to get for Christmas time. And thank you to Viva, thank you to the investigators and please be vegan this Christmas. Peace.